Hello friends, uh, Surena Rura again, your friend uh, astrologer and uh, a hypnotist. We will continue the journey of uh, talking about uh, spirituality and spiritualism and uh, life in general or um, you know like our journey in this birth and later on and I am here to share my experiences or whatever life has helped me to learn. Today, as I promised you, we will continue on to this journey with the topic of the touch. And friends, let me promise you one thing that it is going to be very, very interesting uh, from here onwards. Uh, to the best of my abilities and uh, to best of my knowledge, I am going to tell you that you may be knowing uh, before only, but then I'm going to remind you and I'm going to take you to a world of touch. Uh, that you are familiar with, but, but then you guys may not be even noticing it, that it happens around you. So uh, here it is, um, and uh, like, excuse me. Okay. What I did just now is, I did it purposely. I scratched my hand. We do it so many times during the day. Sometimes we scratch our hand, sometimes we scratch our nose, sometimes we scratch our forehead, sometimes we scratch our head, depending upon what the issue is. So you may have noticed me scratching my hand. I have shared this with many people who have visited me and today I am sharing it with you, this touch of the hand to this hand. Now, if we see biologically, this hand and this hand, these two hands have no communication of any sort whatsoever. They can't talk to each other. Absolutely not. Uh, they can't communicate with one another. So what really happens? So let's say the cells here have some kind of an irritation, some kind of uneasiness. These cells send a request to the brain. These cells, the, the cells here, send a request to the brain here or the mind here. What the mind does is, this mind sends a suggestion or a command to this hand. Go and give relief to this hand. So this hand gets up and give relief to this. Now these two have no connection. This hand cannot talk to this hand. But they both connect through the mind and that's how like the touch happens. And touch, what is happening exactly with the scratch is that this hand is passing on some kind of an energy to this hand which helps this hand to heal. Today friends, I will be talking about the touch that happens within us, which we don't even realize. The way we touch ourselves uh, from morning to night uh, so many times without even realizing uh, so what are the touches that happens within us? One of the important touch is Namaste, like when, when we uh, hold the hands and we do it. Uh, shake hand happens when we are talking, like when we are touching somebody else. So we are just keeping to it for today, like just for ourselves. Uh, so we are touching the hands and we are doing a Namaste. Another uh, touch that I mentioned was that we are scratching ourselves. So, uh, Third touch happens when we are putting a moisturizer or maybe when we, you know, like ladies put lipstick sometimes. So the lips touch the lips. You know, so, so the lips are joined. When we are eating something or when we are, uh, you know, like when, when, when we are thirsty or when we are drinking something, then the lips are touching the lips and the tongue is also touching the lips so many times. Many times the, the tongue is touching the teeth. So that touches also happen, um, right? When we uh, change our clothes, at that time also we do touch ourselves uh, uh, many times and, you know, like in a different uh, way. One of the touches that happens mostly or almost every day with almost all of us is when we take a shower. Although, like, if you have noticed yourself or if you have noticed somebody else, that touch is very, very mechanical. 
Like you can film somebody taking a shower and you will find that the next day and many days to come, the person is repeating the same motions as if there isn't, this is an exercise. So, okay. You can actually record yourself and see that you are every day you are repeating the same. If, if a person is doing it three times, next day he or she will be doing it three times only. If a person is doing a hair for two times, that person will be again re uh, repeating it by the two times only, right? Uh, th there is another time that we touch ourselves is that when we are in pain. So when we are in pain, like let's say, if it is painting here, let's say if I have a boil here or something, then I will be touching that place. Uh, so to, to feel the pain or to feel the hurt uh, that we will be doing it. Sometimes we touch ourselves to stretch. Ah, okay. Right? So this is the touch that is happening. Another kind of touch that is worth uh, mentioning is that men and women like adults do is masturbation. Uh, we, we, we touch it. Uh, that touch is important because that is the easiest way to understand how the energy moves within us. So when we touch ourselves in that manner, all of a sudden the energy takes a higher speed or we start feeling the blood flow has increased. The energy has started in like the, the, the traffic of the energy is increasing uh, and it is going to all over the body. So what we need to understand from the example of masturbation is that our own touch can channelize the energy or can start the energy. And there is something within us, that there is some energy within us that can be triggered as and when we want. So what happens when we are not masturbating, but why it doesn't? Um, uh, happen in the other activities such as taking shower or such as taking hair or such as taking like when we are putting moisturizer. The difference between these activities like uh, the first activity and the other activity is that in the first activity which is masturbation is that we are focused on that activity. That we, we, we have maybe switched off our lights or maybe we have found ourselves a corner we are alone and then we are indulging that activity and that activity or that aloofness or that privacy helps us to generate that kind of electricity or generate that kind of uh, a power within us or energy within us. Now what will happen if we are taking a shower like if, if we start taking a shower in a different way if we notice like let's say if you are taking shower at any time and then you close your eyes and then you start noticing the touch of the water drops on yourself or when you touch yourself and then you feel your touch what is happening is that the touch is happening but then you are not feeling it you are feeling it as a way as if a machine is cleaning you or something but then you this, this touch is not a human touch what I am insisting or what I am suggesting is if you can make this touch human, it will change your life automatically. Just try it for two or three days and your life will be totally changed. Just try it. Just start touching yourself with love or putting your energy, focusing on your energy. Your hands are alive. Your hands are not dead. So don't touch yourself as if it is a wooden hand or something. Touch yourself when alive. When, when somebody else touches you, what happens? You are actually feeling the energy of that person. That energy is being transferred to you. So why you cannot touch your own hand with your own shoulders and then feel the energy or let the energy flow from the hand to the shoulder? Why can't you do this? Let's say at the end of the day, if you are feeling very tired or something, or you may have seen also like some people doing it like this, right? We do it to ourselves. So what happens when we do it? We are actually transferring our healing energy to our own body. And trust me, friends, you don't need to do a course. 
you don't need to attend classes you don't need to feel uh, like uh, pay fees to learn this you are a uh, like you are alive and you have energy flowing and this is in between and your like in between you and your body all that needs to happen is that they both need to be one unit you and your body needs to be one unit okay let's now understand at what stage of life we stop being one unit why our body and mind is not moment like one unit anymore or was it one unit at any time when a child is born when a child is born if the body starts feeling hungry the child starts feeling hungry also and start crying if like if, if the child is feeling thirsty or scared of something that thing happens to the body and the child also feels scared or if you are holding the child tight it starts reacting uh, to one another then what happens then we learn that just having hunger is not enough we are not going to get something to eat just because we are hungry we are not going to get water just because we are uh, thirsty and we are not going to get sleep just because we are sleepy and then what we start doing is then we start controlling our body i start controlling my hunger so where is hunger happening in my body who controls it the me within who is feeling thirsty the body who controls it me within so i get split into two one who feels hungry and the other who controls it and you know like then the terms called uh, your uh, Uh, what we call uh, your uh, will power is strong you start fighting with yourself and the more you fight with yourself the further away you start going you want to do something but then you have been taught how to control it so that control is okay that control is necessary that control is required maybe that control has some utility whatsoever but what is happening is that it is splitting you your body is different and you are different something is happening to the body and you are uh, controlling it the lust is happening to your body you are controlling it hunger is something happening to your body you are controlling it anger is happening to your body and you are trying to control so you have cut yourself in half wow. so this happens in infancy itself and that is why the roots are so uh, a deeper raw that it is hard to uh, get in through this touching yourself and healing yourself is so strong friends so strong the people who are having arthritis the people who are having uh, uh, you, you, you know like anxiety the people who are having depression the people who are having uneven heartbeats all that you need to do is to place your hand on the heart right or maybe shoulder or wherever your pain is you have been doing it automatically also natural naturally also but you have not been realizing what you are doing you are doing it as if you are doing it while sleeping so this time do it consciously and trust me there is no method you don't need to learn it there is no first or there is no second or there is no third don't let the mind confuse you just let the healing energy of your own body heal it so wherever your hand can reach put your hand and then like just suggest to yourself that okay i'm giving you healing accept the healing accept the healing take a deep breath just relax what is required is the focus and you know like i i mentioned in this beginning of the video Uh, the way we focus at the time of masturbating or something uh, i don't want to repeat uh, the word again and again but uh, my su suggestion is understandable uh, just put hands anywhere everywhere whether it is your forehead or it, you you may have seen you know like people hold their hand in place when they are embarrassed or when they are very tired or something so what is happening what is happening doing this you are 
getting energy from yourself. What is happening when you put your head into your own needs? You may have seen child or you must have done it yourself. We put our, you know, when we are too tired and let's say if you are sitting on the couch, you pull your legs up and then you put your head into your knees. What is happening? What is happening is that you have made a circle of the energy and then you are passing energy from one body part to the other. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to understand. This is so simple, right? When you are thirsty, let the water touch your lips. Don't drink like, like the next time you try and drink water, please uh, do one thing like drink half the glass of water with the glass and the other half of the glass with this. Let the hands touch the lips and let there be the touch of the hand, the lips and the tongue. The, let these three things meet and then you see the magic. You will feel more fulfilled. Touch yourself with the eyes, you know, like with your hands, touch the eyes. You will feel better. If possible, let your lips kiss, kiss your hands. Kiss yourself. It's the same kissing somebody else. When somebody is kissing you, that person is passing his or her energy to you through his body parts. And you are doing the same. The only thing is the society has taught us not to use our own energy and it condemns us when we are using somebody else's energy too. So whatever energy is the closest to you, that is your own energy, please use it. And that is the energy of your body. When you were born, when you were conceived, you, the soul, the consciousness, the mind that is the first to reach a mother's womb. There is no heart, there is no limb, there is no spine, there is no heart, there is no head, there is no bone, there is nothing. It's your life form that first reaches the mother's womb. Then you create your body around it and you take nine months to create a body around yourself. When you were conceived, you were not a body, you were not eyes, you didn't have eyes, you didn't have nose, you didn't have ears, you didn't have even heart and head. You were absolutely nothing, you were just life. And your life form, your consciousness created this life form around itself. You have created your body. There is absolutely nobody who knows your body better than yourself. So. You are the best one to heal it yourself too. All the meditation. Okay, take the example of yoga. When we do yoga and we do all the exercises in the yoga, what exactly we are doing? We are touching our different body parts and we are stretching them and we are like, you know, we are doing this, what we are doing that. The basic idea is that we are touching our body, our own body, and we are stretching it. So these stretches making uh, makes the yoga poses. So what happens during the stretching when we when we make a yoga pose? What exactly happens? The energy moves freely. If if I am like standing like this, then my energy is not moving much. But then if I stretch myself, I am giving energy a chance to move straight. It's like you know a straightened wire. If it is a straightened wire, the energy in it or the, uh, you know, like the energy in it or the current in it would move at a much, much uh, faster uh, speed. In nutshell, let, let me repeat uh, these things. The energy is within you. There are some blocks sometimes to some part of the body. You can give energy to that part of the body by yourself you don't need to uh, guys give me one minute i have put this alarm so that the video doesn't get uh, too long so it's time for me to finish uh, but uh, again like to continue energy is within you and it is within your body so if there is a block somewhere feel free to 
remove that block or give the energy from one body part to another. It is possible. There is no science, there is no right, there is no wrong. You don't need to do any course. You just don't need to do anything. Don't let anyone sell you anything. If you have any question, ask me. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, tell you how to do it. You can leave a message on uh, Facebook Messenger or you can uh, do it. Whether it is a pain in the knee joints or it is a pain in the heart or it is anxiety or anything else. Just heal yourself without any medicine, without any pose. You can sit on the couch, you can sit on the chair, you can lie down. Just let your body heal yourself. We think our body is condemned. And most of us don't like our body, our own body that we live in. We all have issues. Oh, I am fat from here. See, these tires are here. I don't like my body. I don't like my shoulders. My neck is not as long. Forget it. It is your body. You have created it. You are living in it. It is the best poss possible body that could have happened to you. And this is the body which will help you to achieve something. And this is the body which can be an instrument to achieve whatever you want. So, we will finish with this video, a touch to yourself. Feel the touch that when you touch yourself. When you take a shower, any touch to the body. Let's, let's accept our bodies as they are. Let's start loving our bodies they are. Stand in the mirror, love your nose, no matter how crooked it is. No matter, you know, love your eyes, love your lips. Kiss yourself. Hold yourself, touch yourself and feel the touch. Please feel the touch, feel yourself, you're not dead. Don't run away from yourself. Let a hug happen within you. Don't wait for somebody to come and hug you. Let a body hug happen like this. You can hug yourself. This is the best hug can, uh, that can happen to you. So love this hug. I promise you we will continue about this touch uh, within us and then you know like I would like to move to the uh, touch of others how we are touched from outside or how we are touched with others and how can we we how can we be more receptive about the touches from outside uh, it's going to be interesting uh, uh, friends I promise you that and I am going to share with you the experiences that I have or the learnings that I have I am sure most of it you already know, but sharing is beautiful and I would love to share with you. Post your comments, let me know how do you feel about and if I have missed on some touch or if you have something else to share it with others, how can we touch ourselves? How can we? This is one touch, I love it. This touch, this touch, you know knee joints, legs, feet, toes, touch yourself. And touch it with focus and touch it with love. I promise you we will continue uh, at this. A lot more is coming friends. Uh, thank you very much uh, for today. I'll uh, uh, take off from you. My videos are also on YouTube. If you want to follow them, you go to YouTube. Uh, and uh, you can search for Surey Narora. If you want, I can send you a link of the YouTube. Uh, if you can like and follow, that would be awesome. If not, let's uh, remain connected here. I'm not begging for a like or I'm not begging for um, a followership or something. But let's keep on talking. Your comments are uh, my motivation and I will continue. I have much, much more to share and I will be back maybe tomorrow or a day after. Just stay tuned. Thank you very much once again. Uh, enjoy yourself and um, keep yourself indoors. Keep safe uh, in this COVID-19 uh, timing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste. Once again, touch yourself. Feel good about it. Enjoy the life.